Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from Mossy Ridge, which is a little ridge I have on my property. Some pretty good elevation. I've got hardwood forest on either side, but this ridge is almost entirely southern yellow pine. And it's got the ground cedar and some other types of moss. And it's just really pretty. Now, you see the autumn olive is budding out behind me, and the deer and the turkeys love that. So, uh, But to get down to it, today we're talking about the Loop Alien hardware and how it can help you rig a uh, ridge line or... Uh, you know your tarp pullouts or whatever you need. It's the loop alien Another way to tie your knots without knots sort of All right, so I have some mixed emotions about all this little hardware gadgetry This one in particular uh, It's really cool. It's really easy to use once you understand it But it's actually harder to learn how to use this than it is just to tie the knot and I'll show you. Part of the advertisement of these is that it requires no knots and it actually doesn't have to stay on the rope. So you can at any point be using the rope and decide, hey, I need to use my loop alien. And uh, there's some other ways to do it. There's several ways to hook it up. Um, I'll just show you probably the easiest and most practical way that I found to, to hook it up. All right, guys, so to put the loop alien on the rope so that you can tension it, you make a bite, which is basically not tires talk for doubling the rope up. You'd also then put the bite through the medium sized hole and then do that. Now, don't let anyone tell you any different. Don't let anyone tell you that that is a knot. I mean, it looks, it looks like a lark's head or a girth hitch or or whatever you want it to be. I, I gotta break it to you now. The first thing you have to do with your knot free hardware is to tie a knot on it. It's just, there's no way around it. Tie the knot on the hardware. So you start your hard, okay, so just so we're clear, you start your knot free hardware with a knot. All right, so we, we're there. All right, so we've got the loop alien fixed to the rope. To tension it, you place another bite of rope through the big hole and around the small tab. It should look like that. Then you do your mechanical advantage. Now to lock it, you go behind the small tab, over the medium tab, behind the big tab, and pull. And that's not going anywhere. I mean, that sounds so simple, right? Okay, so now we have the loop alien attached to your line with the lark's head. It's not going to move anywhere. So what we want to do now is make another bite. Run the bite through the big hole around the small tab. Important to note, your running end needs to be away from the medium-sized tab. So around it, running in, out. That allows you to pull your mechanical advantage. Second bite, around the small tab. Pull your mechanical advantage, get it where you want it. Take your rope around the little tab. Try and do this where I'm not in the way. And then again, around the big hole, and you pull up till it clicks. Pretty good. Not going anywhere. It's pretty stable. All right, watch this magic. Make a loop, just like that. Then you push the running inside through the loop. That is called a slippery half hitch. That's super easy. You come around your tree, place your rope through the slippery half hitch, and pull tension. Pinch it, put a loop through, and pull it tight. It's easier than the loop alien. It's simpler, easier, quicker. There's no hardware to own, to buy, to lose, to carry, to keep up with. It's just, this is tried and true. You can do ridge lines, you can do tarp tie-out points, you can do anything. I would not trust this not with my life. That's not what we're doing here. We're tensioning a rope with the mechanical advantage to be tight and to have quick release. 
when you want to go, you're gone. Now I'm going to tie it in real time. So much easier. So much easier, so much simpler. So I get, I get why everyone likes a little gear like this. It's either going to be titanium or aluminum, and it's going to be lightweight, and it's cool. It's fun to learn how to use them. Uh, sometimes they can really change how you do things for the better. And uh, for those sort of things, I'll get them. But when I'm getting gear, I always evaluate, is it adding value to my experience? Is it making my life easier? Or is it just something else I have to keep up with that I can do away with? And if you're on a backpacking uh, expedition, you're trying to go lightweight, the less things you can carry, the better you're going to be in the long run because you have less weight on your back. Now, if you don't want to learn knots and you want to learn these, there's no wrong answer here. Just for me personally, I prefer some knots. I do have the wasp. I have some other things. All those things make my life easier. This does not make my life easier because it's just a little harder than tying the knot and it accomplishes nothing else that the knot won't already accomplish. So I'll just do it again, not backwards this time, so it makes a little more sense to me. And we'll see what it looks like here. Put the bite through and around. Got my lark's head, come around the tree. mechanical advantage let's see around over down hear the click not bad I just don't happen to need it I will note that it is a pretty cool looking piece of gear you can do some other things with it um, I'm just here to show you what most people are going to use with it again the finish up process listen to the click okay so we're gonna do a giveaway I've got a baggie has two River King stickers and five loop aliens in there so you can do a ridge line and four tarp pullouts there's all your hardware all you got to do to win this baggie is be the first person to comment the last three rivers that I kayaked camped on if you can do that I'll mail this to your house all right so, for my local peeps, I've got this idea, kind of came to me today, I think I'm going to try it out. I have a olive drab duct tape Ziploc baggie, and inside I'll put another baggie with five loop aliens and two River King stickers. I'm going to hide this in a public place, and y'all got to find it. First person to get to it, it's theirs. So come with me, I'll show you where I hid it. Alright everybody, I am at Saxbaha Island Park. And we're right, it's just right down here in Saxbaha. The, the island is here between the two bridges. And there's the parking area. So if you know Saxbaha, if you get here, you can't miss it. Just go over the bridges, get to the little island in the middle, and we'll be right down in here. Okay, so when you come in here, just walk in here on the main trail, this little gravel. And we're getting back to the river, which is gonna be on your left pass by the little place that area where they have a giant bowfin wooden fish perfect for little kids that'll be on your right and basically you're looking for the first rapid on your left but the path as you see has a little sandy area and it's basically the overlook for the first rapid ah the Hall River so there's the rapid there's the trail. And you see this down tree right here? It's gonna be in that tree. Shelf of bark right there. Now watch it, there's a little bit of poison ivy on there. Don't let it get you. But there's your free gear right there, guys. I'll go check it in about a week. If you find that thing let me know so when you get here there's that first rapid you see the overlook right here is the down tree 
Let's walk a little bit further. Kind of around this area. You'll probably even see my footprints in the sand. It's in that little piece of bark. Good luck.